Hi guys, we're back again with another uh, punk tutorial. This time it's going to be the last one. So we have already uh, our character colliding against the uh, bricks. And by the way, I, I removed collisions against the um, the ball just to make it easier. And now we have to add collisions uh, for the um, the hook and the balls. So let's get on with it. Let's start with the hook. It's the easy one. So basically, um, yeah, we've got here that if um, that well, if you think about it, the hook is gonna go always upwards. So if it's uh, if it if it's gonna touch a brick, it's gonna do it um, when moving when the, when the head is moving. It's not gonna be the line is never going to be touching the, the brick, okay? Because bricks are are, um, are static, they're not going to be moving. So we don't have to be uh, checking collisions against the whole cable of the of the hook. We only need to check collisions against the um, the head. And we can do that easily just at an, an event. So if um, collision against brick, then we um, need to break, destroy ourselves. So, yep, yeah, um, with this, I think we should, we, should, we should have this part. This is the easy part, as I said. So yeah, this one here, that. It seems to be working, cool. Very good, so this part is working, good. Now, now the other part is getting the ball to collide with the bricks which is the hardest part. So we have to do something similar to what we did with a player. Um, so, um, yeah, we've got the code here. So, again, we're gonna assume that the previous position is a valid position, and uh, we're gonna be um, Having um, a, um, a a check to say to see if the new position is valid, and if it's not valid, we're gonna be we're gonna find the the, the next sorry the 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 best um, valid position to to put the the ball on, and that will also define whether we have to bounce the ball uh, horizontally or vertically. So we're not gonna be able to use this. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to use this point. So this uh, uh, script, this uh, function or script, which um, I think I'm gonna add a player at the end. Thing is, if I if I change the name here, it's not gonna work. Now I'm not gonna be able to work, sorry, to make it work because it has skipped. So I'm gonna change it. Everybody's it's being used. It's gonna be a player at the end, player at the end, and player at the end. Okay. Now it's now it's okay. And we're gonna be uh, doing another one, which is gonna be similar but not the same. It's gonna be for the ball. Uh, no. Uh, fuck. Sorry, I made a mistake. We had already this plan, I, I forgot about it. So, yeah. We are already checking whether um, we are colliding in the X, Y, or both axes. 
Okay, so we are uh, my employees, I made a mistake. So basically, we're going to be doing the same here. We're going to be um, checking. So let's copy these. Let's So, if the new position is not free, we get our previous position. So, new position is new x, new y, previous position is x and y. Problem here is uh, this is meant to be done after the um, the ball has moved because it's going to be changed in the x and y position. Which is uh, yeah, which means that we cannot do it here. We have to do it. In the uh, this is annoying. Um, I have to do it in the in the a step uh, in the end step because otherwise this is not going to work the way it should. So we have already. With this, we calculate the movement, and we check against the boundaries of the of the world. And with this, we check against the solid objects. And this is done. I mean, this fern find furthest free position along line is going to change x and y. So, I mean, yeah, we have to do it like this. So the thing here is, if we find a collision in the x-axis, then h speed needs to be minus h speed. And if we find a um, collision in the um, y-axis, then we have to decide if b speed is yeah bigger or equal than zero. We have to bounce off the floor. How are we going to bounce off the floor? Just like we did here. But here we have to consider something. So uh, in here we have a, a square root. If this is negative, this thing is negative, this is not going to have a valid value. And this is going to happen when this target height is lower than the, sorry, this new y is lower than the target height. So. So we do this, okay? And in Y then we have to, oh, we are not gonna be doing this. We're having X bell and Y bell. X bell, X bell, Y bell. So, calculate the speed to reach target height and then uh, we're also going to have a um, we need a this is about scale expel y bell uh, target height we can add a new one which is going to be a mean bounce bell and this is going to be the minimum bouncing velocity going upwards which uh, yeah is going to be the same minus two. Yeah, for instance. So 
that's read it and then since this is a negative value it's going to be maxing between y del and in bounds bell I think it's wrote this. written like this in bounds bell So that's when we're um, going down. We're going when we're going up. We as uh, um, y del is minus y del. That's good. Now, this case. In this case, uh, and check whether so we're doing the same thing here, but for both. So expel is going to be minus expel and this whole thing is going to be copied. I probably should take that out as a function, but I'm not doing it right now. Okay, so let's see if this works. Cool, so SQR val new y uh, uh, oh we are not using new y here are we x sorry. not new y is um y Let's see. Okay, so it's something is going wrong, which is let's see. Something is going wrong. When we're bouncing, we're getting mean bounce well. When we should get the other one. Let's see what's happening. So we uh, are debugging this, and okay, so we get my bell is minus six, mean bounds bell is minus two. Oh, that's right, we don't want a max, we want a minimum. We want the minimum because it's negative, so we want the one that is going to bounce the most which is the minimum. Good. That's right. seems to be working. Cool. Yeah. It seems to be working just fine. Good. And just to, to test um, 
let's do something. So I have a nice, let's have these here. Let's make these sixteen. Sixteen. Um yeah. Another one, another one, and another one, and another one. Another one. So this one is going to be like this, and we're going to add a, a small, no, small wall, yeah, small wall there. So, so you can see the ball is bouncing off, but when it gets to the, to the, so it bounces a minimum velocity, which makes it look like it's bouncing, but then once it goes down, it just goes all the way down to, um, uh, to the bottom and bounces normally. So uh, yeah, I think I got we've got everything we wanted. So our last thing is going to be uh, uncommenting this and playing a little bit to make sure it works just fine. Oh, it's not easy. It probably shouldn't appear in a, in a place where it's gonna kill us if we don't if we do nothing. That's not nice. <laughs> That's not a nice starting point. I mean, yeah, we want to do it like we can do it like this. Ah, still killing us. Ah, uh, well, how about now? Yeah. Ah. We still have to do something. Ouch. Okay. So yeah, it looks like it's working and it's fun as it used to be, although I think that the uh, controls of the um, the character should probably be tighter in order to be, uh, and right now it's like if it's walking on ice, which actually it was a thing in the original one, it probably wanted like um, more acceleration, like one or something like that. Yeah. Now you've got like more control over the character and, and you're not depending on, on whether these um oops <laughs> anyway, this is hard. Uh any and uh, not particularly precise, but anyway. This is working, it is um it is exactly what we wanted. And it's finished. So from now on you could do more things like adding uh, weapons adding um, like these characters that when in this uh, appear in the screen you could kill them destructible bricks uh, ladders to go up and down um, I, um, other stuff like a, um, a slowdown so you could slow the time down or or stop the time uh, destroy all the balls I don't know take a look at what we've got in pang and we can add all that and new levels 
and yeah, that's that's about it. With this tutorial, we are finishing the Pang Again Maker Pang series of tutorials, and we will start with um, with a fighting game in our next set of tutorials for Game Maker. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you got any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. And thanks a lot for watching. Bye.